Hello everyone. We will continue the topic subroutines. And in the previous videos, we created the three subroutines. In the first subroutine, we are fetching data from order header table. In the second subroutine, we are fetching data from order item table. And in the third subroutine, we merge the data of two internal tables and we got the output in LT final internal table. We applied the loop and we are displaying the output. Now we will understand the full flow in the debugging mode. So if some confusion is there in regarding the previous videos, it will be automatically clear. So what I will do, I will put the breakpoint on the first subroutine. Suppose I will go for order number one. You all know it is a parameter, so I can only go for single input at a time. I will go for execute. Desktop three, most preferable desktop. So we have two actual parameters for the subroutine get underscore header. P underscore ONO is one and LT underscore data is a internal table which has zero records and four columns. If I want to go inside the subroutine, I will do F5. This is F5. Now, if I will go inside the subroutine, PV underscore ONO is your formal parameter and PT underscore data is your formal parameter or I will say it is a formal internal table. Yes, it is a formal parameter which is an internal table and we used which concept? Pass by reference. Now, PV underscore ONO is 1. So it means ONO is equal to 1. This ONO is equal to 1. It will go to order header table. It will fetch the data of these four columns and data will come into this internal table, which is a formal parameter. Now this is your formal parameter. This is your corresponding actual parameter. And we used which concept? Pass by reference. It means whenever data will come into this internal table, it will automatically reflect into LT underscore data. If I will do F6, you can see one record came into PT underscore data and it automatically reflected into the actual parameter LT underscore data. Now we will go for now F6. So our first subroutine executed and we have one record in this particular parameter, which is the actual parameter. It is a internal table. So we have one record into this internal table. Now this if condition is true because internal table is not initial, internal table is not null, internal table is not blank because we have one record into this internal table. So this if condition true. Now I am on 47 number line. If I want to go inside the subroutine, I will do F5. Now, LT underscore data has one record. LT underscore data one has zero records. These are your actual parameters for this get underscore item subroutine. I will go inside the subroutine. Now, PT underscore data has one record because from LT data is actual. What is the corresponding formal parameter? PT underscore data. So in PT underscore data, we have one record. And this PT underscore data one 
is completely completely blank which is a corresponding formal parameter for this particular actual parameter now we are fetching data from item table based upon the data of pt underscore data what is the data into this internal table this is the data in the internal table and out of this data which particular column we are referring order number so what is pt data order number one pt data order number one will act as a input for the order number of this particular table it will fetch the data of these three column and data will come into this internal table and we used which concept pass by reference concept so whenever the data will come into this internal table it will automatically reflect into lt underscore data one because whenever we will change the value of formal parameter it will automatically reflect into actual parameter now i will do f5 f6 now you can see pt underscore data one three records we have three records for order number one and same to same three records are in lt underscore data one now i will go for third sub -routine. this is our third sub routine now we are using the two internal tables lt data how many records lt data one how many record three records and lt underscore final how many record zero records so we have three actual parameter or you can understand we have three actual parameters which are internal tables now i will do f6 sorry f5 because i want to go inside the subroutine i will go for step by step execution now you can see for lt data what is the formal parameter pt data for lt data one what is formal parameter pt underscore data one for lt final what is formal parameter pt underscore final so this loop will continue yes outer internal table one record inner internal table three records yes and from these two internal tables we are passing that data to pt underscore final internal table i'll just put a breakpoint and do f8 so that control will come to 63 number line and this particular loop will execute now i'm on 63 number line and this loop executed now in pt underscore final we have three records and how many column six column four column data from first table two column data from the second table and we used which concept pass by reference concept three records came into pt final and it automatically reflect into lt underscore final now in lt underscore final we have three records so this loop will continue three times and it will display the records using the right statement and this is our expected output so what is the summary of this particular video in this video we understood the full concept in the debugging mode for all the three subroutines how we are going for order header table order item table then merging of the data and then finally finally we are displaying the output you can put this right statement logic inside the third subroutine also it is totally your wish how you want to go now in the next video rather than parameter we will go for same to same requirement but rather than parameters we will go for select options so that's it in this particular video thank you